Hey there, hot mamas. If you read Wild Simple Joy, or if you've been on this channel at all recently, you might know that I've been trying out a lot of different supplements, and so I've been doing supplement reviews because when I stopped breastfeeding my second son, I kind of experienced this big hormonal crash. It was all of those pregnancy and breastfeeding hormones that suddenly weren't there anymore. Um, and I had, I experienced a lot of different side effects like extreme fatigue, hormonal acne, hair loss, uh, breast pain, and a lot of other things that kind of went along with that hormonal imbalance. So today I'm going to be sharing with you three supplements that I started taking that really, really helped my hormonal imbalance. And I wanted to share that with you today. If you don't know me, my name is Dawn Perez, and I run the blog Wild Simple Joy. I'm a freelance writer, a feminist, a mother, I'm a nutrition coach, and a life coach as well. This video is of my own personal experience. If you are experiencing some of the same symptoms that I did, I highly suggest that you consult your doctor before taking on any supplements or changing your routine at all. This video does not constitute nutritional advice. All right, so let me tell you some of the things that I have been experiencing. So basically, um, my son was born in April of 2019 and I breastfed him for about 13 months. So I was still kind of riding high on all of those pregnancy hormones for a really long time. And about four months after I stopped breastfeeding, um, all of my hormones <laughs> came to a crash. My endocrine system seemed like it just did not want to work. I was also experiencing a lot of stress, emotional stress in my personal life at that same time. And um, I, it was really awful. So some of the things that I experienced were having zero energy, extreme fatigue. I had a lot of breast pain during the two weeks preceding my period. Um, and when I say breast pain, I mean they were engorged and inflamed and hot to the touch and incredibly uncomfortable. Um, there was not any bra that I could wear that, that made it so that I was not wincing at every movement of my own body. I developed really, really bad hormonal acne, um, specifically along my jawline. Um, I, I wasn't getting it up here so much as I was right down here. And you can see even now it's kind of moved to my neck. Um, so it's moved down. The hormonal acne that I was experiencing was really inflamed and, and really um, not fun to deal with. I had extensive digestive issues, including um, IBS, constipation, bloating, um, some of these symptoms that I'm still experiencing even a year later, but not to the same degree that I was experiencing, experiencing them before. I, I was very uncomfortable after eating pretty much all the time after every meal. Six months after all of the other symptoms started, I started experiencing postpartum hair loss. So all of my hair started falling out. You may have noticed that I haven't posted YouTube videos in a very, very long time, in about a year, in fact. And um, my hair has not grown very much since then, maybe two or three inches in the last year. So my hair growth has slowed down so, so much from all of the stress and all of the endocrine, <laughs> endocrine issues that I was dealing with. I want to share with you that I did go to the doctor for my breast pain and lumpiness. And they said, for me specifically, what I was experiencing was totally normal. There weren't any um, lumps that were of concern. And so they told me to keep doing what I was doing because at that time that I saw them, I had already started to see some improvement based on the three supplements that I'm going to tell you that I took. And here's what I was doing. So the very first thing that I wanted to do when I started experiencing these symptoms was to heal myself from the inside out. Uh, I mentioned that I was under a lot of emotional stress at that time. And so I knew that I needed to do things that would help reduce inflammation, um, get me the proper amount of rest that I needed, 
and, and really help heal my body. So I wanted to look at things holistically. Here are some of the things that I did. I started sleeping as much as I could. When your body needs to heal, you absolutely 100% have to rest. And so uh, at the time I was still teaching with VIP Kid, which I'm not anymore. Um, so I, I don't wake up at 2.37 in the morning anymore to teach, which is good. But even then at that point, I started scaling back and not teaching as many hours in the very early morning. I also cut a lot of things out from my diet. One of the things that made my breast pain and inflammation worse was caffeine. I completely cut it out. I could not drink any caffeine. Uh, currently right now I'm back up to, I can have about a cup of green tea or sometimes a cup of black tea, not every day. And that is about the extent of the caffeine that I can have right now. But back about a year ago when I was first experiencing these symptoms, I completely cut it out, zero caffeine, which really sucks when you wake up at 2.37 in the morning. <laughs> Another thing that I cut out from my diet was sugar. I was still eating very, very small amounts if I was intentionally aware of it, but I was really, really careful about not getting any added sugar. So things like cereals, granola bars, obviously I could not have any cookies. I didn't eat any chips or anything like that that had extra high simple carbs. I also cut out all dairy because that can have a big impact on hormonal acne. And I also cut out wheat and gluten, which I had at one point in my life, but um, I felt like I had healed myself and was kind of on the mend and I added a little bit back in, um, I would probably say about six or seven years ago. So it was, it's been kind of a while and of course during pregnancy I could eat whatever I wanted and I didn't have any symptoms because my body, it was just like I had completely reset. And so, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I was able to eat all of this gluten and wheat that I had previously cut out of my diet. So I had to cut it out again. Okay, here are the three main supplements that I started taking that I had success with. The first one is magnesium. Um, magnesium is a great mineral for all kinds of different things in your body. It helps you sleep, it helps you digest, it helps your skin, it helps muscle pain and stiffness and tightness. Um, it helps your joints. There are so many things that magnesium is used for in your body. And magnesium is actually one of the top vitamins or minerals that Americans are deficient in. I take a complex. So this has um, a bunch of different types of magnesium in it, which are good for different um, processes in the body. The second thing I started taking was zinc. Zinc is one of those minerals that a lot of people are deficient in. Zinc is great for a healthy immune system and it helps our body heal quickly. When I first started experiencing all of these symptoms, I had a zit on the side of my face for six months. That did not heal for six months. Once I started taking zinc, cleared up in two weeks. It was amazing. <laughs> So zinc is something that I found that really, really helped my body start to heal. I also expect that it healed my gut. Another thing that I started taking, and this is the third vitamin or supplement that I started taking, was a vitamin B complex. Now I um, finished that one and I'm actually taking my vitamin B in another supplement right now, so I don't have a bottle to show you, but um, Vitamin B is essential throughout our entire bodies. There are so many different things that vitamin B is used for, from immune health, to metabolism, to skin, to brain, to cell regeneration and growth. So vitamin B is one of those things that um, we need to make sure that we're getting enough of. And of course you wanna make sure that you're getting enough of these things through your diet. And I told you that I, a little bit about how I cleaned up my diet and took out some of the bad things. And of course I added in some of the good things that were going to help me get those vitamins to begin with. Things like avocado and spinach and um, salmon that really helped me get those from my food. But taking a supplement helped me get a little bit more of an amount that kind of helped me heal. 
B vitamins are actually something that your doctor can prescribe. So that is an option, but you have to check with your doctor, obviously. Here are another few really quick supplements that I wanted to mention. Iodine is really good for breast health and that helped decrease the inflammation and pain that I was experiencing. Collagen is really good for skin repair and joint repair. And so that helped my hormonal acne a little bit. And the last thing that I just wanted to mention really quickly is probiotics. And that's another thing that can help your gut to heal because probiotics are those good bacteria that uh, live in your gut that help us break down food. Getting probiotics every morning before I ate anything was really essential to healing my gut. So there were a few other things that I did that helped me to feel like myself again, my energetic, uh, vibrant self. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about those in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that. But those three supplements and those lifestyle changes really helped me get back on track. Like I said, it took a few months So I hope this was really, really helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.